module four, cleaning the varnish off an oil painting. Okay. So in this module, what I want to show you how to do is actually mix your cleaning fluids and then very carefully start to remove some varnish off an oil painting. It's very, very important that you get the balance right between acetone and white spirit so you don't take too much varnish off too quickly and we certainly don't want to uh, go into the paint so we've got to be really really careful but the reason a lot of oil paintings look a little dirty after 140 years or even more is because the varnish has absorbed dirt maybe maybe smoke from you know, for open fires whatever in the olden days uh, but over the time the actual varnish has um, um, absorbed all this this dirt household dirt and grime and that's why they look very dark sometimes to the point that they can look black in fact so what we're going to do is actually clean some varnish off uh, very very carefully what we'll do first is actually mix, make a, a trial mix between acetone uh, and white spirit, okay? And what we'll do is with this small caterer's uh, dispenser here, okay, we will put about 20 mil, I think. We'll go about half and half to start with, I think. So there's 20 mil of white spirit. Now make sure you label everything up. This is can't be overstressed. You've got to label everything up at this stage because any errors could cost you dearly. Okay. Good. So we're putting that in there. You could use a, a bigger measure if you wish. So that's 20 mil of that. 20 mil of acetone coming up. And that will give us about 50-50. Okay. Beautiful. We'll see how we get on with that. Um, okay, we're, we, I think we're ready to go. We've labelled up everything here, very important. Try and remember to open a window or a door when you're using these chemicals because it really, it really can get to your throat, okay? So try and get a bit of ventilation in. So rubber gloves on, excellent. Brilliant. And then we'll do a little trial. Okay, put it the right way. We'll have it. And let's get on. Okay. Right, well do your trial clean, your initial clean, do it uh, where it's right on the edge, somewhere that's hardly noticeable, or certainly somewhere that is quite easy to repair. So I'm getting a little dirt off there, a little dirt. Now always have your white spirit handy, because sometimes acetone can continue eating in to the paint, Okay, um, after a few moments or even after a few minutes, the only thing that neutralizes it is to use white spirit. So I'm going to go in there with just neat white spirit, not over wet, and neutralize that. Okay, it's cleaning well. Uh, I'm seeing a little bit of dark that could be that uh, it could be into the paint already. So be very, very careful if that is the case. Very light, clean. What I'll do is, a little bit of white spirit, and this is still the trial stage, remember, lifting those beautiful trees up. What I'm gonna do is just go a little bit weaker, I think, um, with the mix. I'm just gonna put another 20 mil uh, of uh, white spirit into our mix, because it might be a little bit uh, strong, okay? Okay, we're bringing some nice colors out. Uh, it's taking the surface varnish off um, all the time. Um, you must keep inspecting to see what's coming off onto your cotton wool. And if you get any paint like yellow, reds or anything like that, stop, okay? Uh, but I'm quite relaxed that I'm just getting surface muck, okay? So there's the first quarter done and I'll press on. Right. If you can just see that chalkiness to the surface, that's because the varnish is gone and we'll have to re-varnish later. Uh, but what I want to show you is where we've got a, uh, a piece of damage here, 
we've got to support the canvas from the underside. We can't put any more pressure on that. Okay, so I'm just going to put a board under that. A board under it. There. Yeah, and now it can take the full pressure of our cleaning. And here we go again, just gently. But we do need to clean it off or we could find ourselves struggling to patch up. Um, yeah, struggling to patch up with the varnish on, just show you the dirt on that, yeah? So there we go. And what we're getting on quite well. Again, always look, always inspect. And cotton balls are quite cheap. And so this is your only telltale as to what you're bringing off the painting. You can see the dirt coming off. This is your only telltale. And so don't overuse it because if it's ever so dirty, it might miss. Okay, it might miss something crucial. I'm gonna put the board under that. Okay, now give special care to the area around the, the signature. Okay, very special care. And what I'm gonna do is just bring plenty of uh, white spirit and then just gently use a clean bit gently take a bit of dirt off yeah there we go well, but i don't want to take the signature off beautiful then i'll know that know all that was white spirit Okay, now the bit that needs special attention here, I've got to put that board under just to support it. I don't want to make it any worse. There we go. That's it. Nicely supported. And now I can clean that off. And I think what I'll do is just clean from the outside and just work in towards the split, okay? Just gently work inwards towards the, the split area. Again, want to take a bit of, little bit off, so I'm looking for a little bit of dirt on here. There, that's a lovely job. Yeah, I'm looking for a little bit of dirt. That will probably do for there. Okay, right, there's some of the muck we've taken off it. Um, and the painting is now completely cleaned. Well, thanks very much for joining me with uh, Module 4, and I hope you'll join me on Module 5, where we actually stick the patches on the back. Okay, thanks for joining me. Bye.